There have been several new features added to Civil 3D 2021 around pressure pipes, focusing on pressure network layout and editing. Now you can break down a pressure pipe network into specific pipe runs. This allows a user to have an overall pressure network for the entire project, but have the flexibility to break that network down into specific pipe runs, like water main A, B, C, etc. When a horizontal change is made to the pipe run, any bend or elbow that is affected will update to the correct angle automatically. No need to manually update the bends after a horizontal change. When a pipe run is added to a profile view, you now have the ability to control the vertical offset of the pressure pipe. You can set a specific surface or vertical profile for the pipe to follow, then set the vertical offset from the surface or vertical profile. If a change is made in the surface or vertical profile, the pressure network will update to follow. Greater flexibility for editing the pipe network in profile lets you create pipe lowerings more efficiently when utility crossings occur. Now when a user extends a pipe run, at each horizontal bend location, the appropriate elbow is added. No more manual process of adding elbows after the extension has been laid out. A pipe run can also be generated from an object. In the dialog box, you have an option to set the horizontal offset distance. This will create a pipe run that mimics the geometry you are offsetting from. Using the pipe run that we've just created, we can now extend the pipe into another pipe in the network and add a branch fitting, which will place the appropriately sized T at the intersection location of the two pipe runs. The user also has the option of creating a curved pressure pipe. From the manufacturer, the pipe has an allowable deflection, so a curved layout is created instead of having to add multiple bends when installing around a curve.